for self-denial teaches the pursuit of satisfaction in God. Mark 8, 34. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospel's will save it. But what does it profit a man if he gain the whole world and forfeit his soul? The reason we have to take up our cross and deny ourselves is not because we're liable to have too much pleasure in God. So we need a little, bit of, a little bit of suffering thrown in. The reason we have to take up our cross and deny ourselves is because we are so liable to find our pleasures elsewhere. Not been a Christian for 60 Four years, and every day I must deny myself, my bent to seek pleasure elsewhere. The corruption of the human heart does not need a conversion story out of drugs. It just needs to look in the mirror at age 70. Where would we be without self-denial? In love with the world, that's where we'd be. Suicidal pleasures, that's where we'd be. And you will never outgrow the need for that command. Die, Christian, every day. Put to death what is earthly in you. And don't think You've given up Christian hedonism. <laughs> it is all about joy. It's all about, oh, more of you, more of you, none of that. I'm not going to be killed by that. I don't care how good it feels. So, the teaching of Jesus about self-denial teaches you to pursue your joy where it is, not where it isn't. Flannery O'Connor Short story writer, novelist, described the connection between self-denial and the quest for joy like this. Always you renounce a lesser good for a greater. The opposite is what sin is. Picture me with my ground teeth stalking joy, fully armed for it is a highly dangerous quest. Oh, is it ever? It may cost you your life. It may cost you everything in this world. Whoever loves his life loses it. Whoever hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If someone offers you 80 years of pleasure in this world, then eternal misery, you better hate your life in this world. <laughs> or you're not a Christian hedonist. You're a fool. <laughs> 